Tim Bass is not guilty. He didn't kidnap anyone, he didn't rape anyone, and he certainly didn't kill anyone. This case remains a big mystery. As you've already heard, on the afternoon of November 24, 1989, Mandy Stavick went for a jog on Strand Road. And David Craker is going to testify that she was one minute from home, 100 yards from her home. He's going to testify that he saw a pickup truck with two men following her. Now, the government has charged him back with kidnapping, raping, and ultimately murdering Mandy Stavick. Tim lived on Strand Road, about two miles from Ms. Stavick's home. And the government is going to tell you, in their presentation of the case, that in that one minute between Mr. Craker seeing Ms. Stavick jogging and the distance that it took for her to get home, Tim, in broad daylight, in his neighborhood, kidnapped her, scurried her away, and ultimately raped her, and caused her death. Yet they have zero evidence that Tim kidnapped her. They have no witnesses. Despite four people seeing her jogging down that road that day, no one saw Tim kidnap her. They have no physical evidence. There's no evidence that she was restrained in any way, and you'll hear no evidence that she was taken anywhere against her will. They have no evidence that Ms. Stavick was raped. You will not hear that Ms. Stavick sustained any injuries that would be commonly associated with a sexual assault, and you will not hear any evidence of forced sexual contact. Finally, they have no evidence that Tim murdered Ms. Stavick. There were no signs of a struggle. Ms. Stavick had no defensive wounds. Dr. Gary Goldfogel, as, as Mr. McEachern said, is going to testify that he found a, a bruise on her head. He's also going to tell you that he doesn't know if that bruise occurred before or after she died. He's also going to tell you that he, he found that she died of drowning. And in 2017, you've already heard, they got, Tim's, they got Tim's DNA and they tested it against that unknown sample. And it was a match. We're not contesting that. The DNA found inside Ms. Stavick's body was Tim's. But as, you, as I'm sure you already know, evidence of sexual contact is not evidence of kidnapping. Evidence of sexual contact is not evidence of rape. And evidence of sexual contact is certainly not evidence of murder. You are going to hear that this case is still an incredible mystery. When you look at the evidence that's being presented to you, when you look at the lack of evidence that's been presented to you, I'd submit to you, you will be confident that no one knows what happened to Ms. Stavick. I'd submit to you that there is no evidence that Tim committed a crime, period. I will submit to you, you will not be satisfied beyond a reasonable doubt. And I would ask that you find Tim Bass not guilty. Thank you.